Hi, Lauren from LSP Actions here. You are part way through the tutorials for the LSP Christmas Magic Actions. In this image, we're going to be focusing on adding a little bit of magic. So I'm coming all the way down here. If this is the first video you're watching, you might want to watch the video tutorials, uh, the first video tutorials, the introduction, just to show you how to get started. I'm going to come through this um, assuming you've already watched the videos or you're um, already familiar with how LSP Actions work. So I'm come down to the sprinkle of magic section in the uh, Christmas magic actions. And first I'm going to click on apply magic overlay because these actions come with bonuses of glows, candle lights, magic book actions, fairy trails and everything like that. So click on apply magic overlay and locate these on your computer. So first up, um, I want to add something up here where she's pointing. So I'm going to go onto the Magic Trail Overlay Kit. If your Magic Trail Overlay Kit is still zipped, make sure you unzip um, Extract the files. You can do this by right clicking and choosing Extract All if you're on PC. On Mac, you can use Archive Utility. Photoshop can't read a zip file, so it will just come up saying something like uh, no parser or you know, format can be found. Next up, when you've unzipped and you've got your LSP Magic Trail Overlays, you can choose which one you want to add in. I'm going to go, let's go for this one. And what's going to happen is if you're using the actions, it's going to come in um, semi-transparent here. So you can decide kind of where you want to put this. Let's have her kind of looking and touching it. The action plays out. You can hit stop and it's there. Let me just make this mouse a little bit smaller. So you see there before and after. We also got extra actions to click and deepen if you want to. Depending on your image, it's either going to make it deeper and darker or it'll make it calmer looking. So I think for this one, I'm going to just drag that to trash. We're just going to keep this exactly as it is. Next up, we're going to want a little bit more of a glow down here. So again, I'm going to click not on paint on glow. I mean, paint on glow is really nice if you want to, if you've already got something glowing in your image, for example, this, and you want to add a little bit of glow to it. But I'm going to click on the apply a magic overlay again. And this time we're going to go out and we're going to go onto the glowing overlay kit. Again, make sure your files are unzipped. I'm going to choose one of these lantern overlays, not the candle flames. They've got actual flames in them and that just wouldn't make sense with this image. So I'm going to go for a glow overlay. How about the glow glitter overlay? See, this has got some really fine glitter included. So let's move this into the general vicinity of the lantern. Hit stop and you can see now we've added that lovely glow. This is great for... Um, backgrounds where you have um, candles, any kind of empty lanterns, for example, there's another lantern behind here, so, um, got to far more to autopilot, apply magic overlay, hit continue, and let's choose, uh, how about this glow here, it's going to make that one a little bit smaller, and pop that in here, and hit stop, they do come with layer masks, and a black brush already selected, so you can paint this off some areas if you feel it's um, kind of coming over anywhere it shouldn't. So we have her kind of reaching up and touching the magic now. We have the glows in. So let's see there before. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. And after adding these in, it just starts to add a little bit of magic to your image. Now because we have the glowing, I think it would look much nicer if the image was darker. So just to finish off, I'm actually coming to the beginning, which is fine. You can hop around with these. And I'm going to play the Deep Eve Darken action. And that's done a nice darken there. You can either play this a couple of times or you can slide the opacity up. It's entirely up to you. So you have that darkness coming in. And down here, all the way down, 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 on towards the night before Christmas finishes, I'm going to play the City Edge Vignette Wash as well. This comes with a black uh, brush selected. All of these do that are just click, so I'm just going to paint that off a little bit there and switch to white to paint it on again around here so we want her face kind of lit up on these just adding that darkness in um, as well and it just kind of creates that magic to the image so we've taken um, what was quite a you know just quite a normal light image just gonna get rid of that one because I'm not using it and we've turned it into something a little bit more magical. We could also finish up with a wash if you wanted to. I'm going to use up here in the warmer section Dasher's Darling Wash. Um, in the washes we have Dasher Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donna and Blitzen. So I'm going to turn that on and off. You can see it's very very warm. Um, well, this image is quite warm anyway so I'm just going to lightly dab that off anywhere it doesn't need to show. 
so there we can see before and after. You zoom in a little bit there, before and after. A super quick edit, just a few minutes, but adding that lovely magical warm feel. So you can almost feel a lot more cosy looking at the image now, and it tells a story. So enjoy using the LSP uh, Christmas Magic Photoshop actions. There are so many actions in here, um, and lots of video tutorials for each section of these actions, so you can get the most out of editing your Christmas mini sessions this year. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.